Love Lies Bleeding has an impressive cast, not because of how many actors it has, but because of the excellent quality of their acting skills, but it ended up being a dark mirror to a $158 million movie starring two of them in similar roles. The first half of 2024 saw a variety of movies that went on to become hits with critics and viewers, and one of them is Love Lies Bleeding. Directed by Rose Glass, Love Lies Bleeding is a romantic thriller starring Kristen Stewart as Lou Langston and Katie O'Brien as Jackie Cleaver. Love Lies Bleeding takes viewers back to 1989 to meet Lou, a gym manager with a toxic and complicated past and family background, and Jackie, a homeless bodybuilder who arrives at Lou's gym. Lou and Jackie begin a romantic but intense relationship that quickly escalates when Jackie gets involved in a murder. This has direct consequences on Lou and Jackie, leading them to Lou's psychopath father, Lou Sr., Ed Harris. Lou's family dynamic with her father and sister is key to Love Lies Bleeding, but it's also a dark mirror to a previous movie starring Harris and another cast member. Ed Harris and Jenna Malone played father and daughter in Stepmom. Love Lies Bleeding wasn't Harris and Malone's first role as father and daughter. Jenna Malone plays Beth Langston in Love Lies Bleeding, Lou's oldest sister who is married to JJ, Dave Franco, an abusive man who also worked for Lou Sr. at a shooting range. Lou mentions early in Love Lies Bleeding that she doesn't talk to her father and thus has nothing to do with him aside from managing the gym, which he owns, but Beth seems to have more contact with him, mostly due to JJ. Interestingly enough, this isn't the only time Ed Harris and Jenna Malone have played father and daughter, as they did so back in 1998 in Stepmom. Directed by Chris Columbus, Stepmom is a comedy drama starring Julia Roberts as Isabel, Susan Sarandon as Jackie, and Ed Harris as Luke. Jackie and Luke are divorced and struggle to co-parent their two children, Anna, Jenna Malone, and Ben, Liam Aiken, while Luke is engaged to Isabel, who is several years younger than him. Jackie is also silently battling lymphoma, which makes her fears of Isabel becoming her children's stepmother even bigger, while Isabel struggles to connect with Jackie's children, especially Anna. Love Lies Bleeding gives a dark twist to Harris and Malone's father-slash-daughter dynamic. Lou Sr. and Beth are nothing like Luke and Anna. Although they address different themes and have completely different contexts, Love Lies Bleeding ends up being a dark mirror to Harris and Malone's father-slash-daughter dynamic in Stepmom. In Columbus film, Anna and Luke didn't have the best relationship as Anna was affected by the divorce and Luke's relationship with Isabel, but they did their best to mend their relationship, especially after Jackie's illness was revealed to her kids. The relationship between Beth and Lou Sr. in Love Lies Bleeding isn't explored, but given Lou Sr.'s support of JJ, it's implied she was also constantly manipulated by her dad. At the end of Stepmom, it's implied that Jackie eventually dies and Isabel becomes Anna and Ben's mother figure. In Love Lies Bleeding, it's implied that Lou Sr. killed Lou and Beth's mother, perhaps because she knew too much about his crimes, but to Lou and Beth, their mother simply abandoned them. Lou Sr. remarried at some point, and his wife picked Beth up from the hospital when Lou couldn't. Stepmom's Luke would never have supported Anna's abusive partner and relationship and would have defended her, but the same can't be said for Lou Sr., who only cared about his own benefit. At the end of Love Lies Bleeding, Lou decides not to kill her father and leave him for the police, who are on their way to his house and leaves with Jackie. It's unclear what happens to Beth after that, as she no longer has her husband, her father is about to be arrested, and her sister leaves her after she's incapable of seeing what is going on. Stepmom, on the other hand, gives Anna a bittersweet ending, as Jackie will die, but Anna will still have a family after that.